All right, hey everyone, how's it going? We are doing a load test. It is nice and sunny out. This will help me keep my batteries above dead. And we have been running about 12 kilowatts or so. You can see it fluctuates for how long here? 10 minutes, 18 seconds. I know that's not a lot of time, but consider that with this load here, if this was a runaway load where it's gonna overheat, we would see it right away. And what we are actually seeing here, let's look. Fan speed is at 57%. Temperatures have not exceeded 144.7 degrees. And this has been running for 10 minutes. So if there was something going on where it was, over, in fact, going to overheat, we would see this 142 continue to rise. But as the fans ramp up, coming from its 144 peak, as the fans ramp up, then this temperature comes down. That means that the fans are managing the heat at 12 kilowatts. So that's an important number. Now, it is basically impossible for me to do an extended load test. I do not have the battery capacity to do so. However, based on this testing that I have been doing over the past couple of days, if there was a problem, oops, let's go back here. Do I even know my own inverter? Come on. If there were a problem with this load at 12 kilowatts, which is the advertised limit, this number would continue to rise. And you can see here that it's actually below its peak. So again, as the heat increases, this number should decrease. As this number decreases, the fans will spin down. This number will then increase, fans will spin up. So basically, the cooling system is more than adequate to maintain 12 kilowatts. And those temperatures are very, very comfortable. Um, and again, this is a 12 kilowatt load test, as you can see here. And the timer is now at 12 and a half minutes. I know that's not a big deal to those of you who are looking for a 24 hour or even a one hour load test, which is basically impossible for me to do. I do not have the battery capacity to do so. Um, I have roughly about 10 kilowatt hours of capacity at my disposal. So at 12 kilowatts, Obviously, I have less than an hour of capacity uh, to be able to uh, do this test. I'm gonna keep doing the test all the way down to where this hits about 52 volts. But, clearly, you can see that for 12 minutes and 45 seconds, this thing has been maintaining, without a problem, its temperatures. So, 57% throttle on those fans. There's four fans churning down there working on this. And look, this is almost a stable temperature right here. It'll probably climb a little bit and then, you know, it may fall back down again. This is normal behavior. So very interesting. We are holding at 12 kilowatts. I will, of course, update it. And I am going to do a 13 kilowatt load test as well. That'll have to be after these batteries charge back up. But I'm gonna let this run all the way down to about 52 volts just making sure everything's fine. I'll probably uh, do an update video after that. And then I'm gonna go for a 13 kilowatt load test then thereafter. But I tell you what, this is, this is so encouraging. See, as the temperature, this is where my fan settings are right now. You can see that I've got 135 degrees is when they start to ramp. And then within 15 degrees, they ramp all the way up to 100%. So between these two, the fans are holding this speed right here to maintain that temperature. Now fan speed should fall. See, it's gonna rise and fall because again, it's trying to keep the temperature within this range. So it's not gonna stay at a constant speed at these loads. It should fall back slowly, then pick up slowly. That's the behavior of the fans. So right now it seems to be holding this temperature, which is good, so 60% throttle. Let's see what our temperature actually is 142.9 so as this number climbs which it slowly is the fans will respond by increasing their speed and then that will bring down the temperature again so yeah it's amazing the entire house is heating up because i have about six space heaters that are running right now and these are the loads pretty cool 12 kilowatt inverter without a doubt we're going on 15 minutes now 
this is a 12 kilowatt inverter there is no doubt if this was not a 12 kilowatt inverter it would be approaching its red line possibly overheating but considering that the fans are not at full speed temperatures have not exceeded 144 that is a huge accomplishment for us so amazing 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 it is without a doubt that this is a full 12 kilowatt inverter there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is a full 12 kilowatt inverter and it looks like it has plenty of room to spare and I'll find out where that number actually lies it could be at 13 it could be at 14 it may be even 15 I don't know I just don't have the batteries to be able to do a really extended load test I'm going on 15 16 minutes now so there you have it let's see where the fans are going right now they might be ramping up a little bit I can hear them yeah 65 percent 66 and again as the temperature rises here and the fans speed up it may approach this number again but then as the fans speed up they will be able to then bring this number back down you'll see a fluctuation here it's not going to be perfect because the fans are not running at a constant speed so they react to the heat perfect all right so there you have it awesome 12 kilowatt inverter load test i wish that i could do an extended load test i really do but and our dog is being annoying right now um, i wish i could do an extended load test but i just don't have the battery capacity but this is a good indication here of how the inverter is performing so Thanks again for all of your support as always. We will keep you updated on this inverter. And take care.